So in this video, we will learn how to send message on Matamos channel for new Google Calendar event. Now suppose guys, you are using Google Calendar to manage all of your new events. And you want that whenever a new event is created, you want to update or share details with your team members on Matamos by sending a message. Now you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be creation of new event in Google Calendar. And the action will be sharing or sending a message on Metamost channel with those new event details. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, you just have to click on access now below Pabbly Connect. Now we have reached to Pabbly Connect's dashboard. And this in this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Calendar to matter most and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of new events which we are creating in Google Calendar in Public Connect workflow. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send that new event details to Matamost so that we can create a post using those details and send a message on our Matamost channel to update our team members. Now to do so, here in trigger window in Choose app, first search for Google Calendar. Google Calendar it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select new event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Calendar account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Google Calendar. Select your Google Calendar account from here. And after that, scroll down and click on continue. And now we can see that our Google Calendar account gets connected with Pabbly Connect. After making this connection, here it is asking us for the calendar. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the calendars which we have created in our Google Calendar account can be seen over here. Let me show you. So this is my Google Calendar account and here are all the calendars which I have created. So out of all of this calendar, the calendar which we are going to use in this video is named as webinar. Just select this calendar and this, we have to basically uh, select the same calendar over here. So what we have done? We want that whenever a new event is created in this particular calendar named as webinar, which we have selected over here in Public Connect, the details of that particular calendar's new event will be captured inside Public Connect. So here guys, after selecting our calendar, when we will click on save events and test requests, the details or the data of most recent, most recently added event will be captured from Google Calendar and from this calendar. So what we are going to do, we are going to basically create a new event. So for example, we have a date of 20th of September. Let me create an event, for example, developers conference. Developers conference, this is the name of the event. Let's also add the time. For example, the event is from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we are not having any guest for now, so let's ignore this field. The location is, for example, Delhi, Delhi, India, and the description. So we will be having all of all so we will be having all of our developers in this event. So at this event. So basically what we have done guys, we have basically created a dummy event in Google Calendar to set up this automation. Let's click on save and this event is created. Now after creating this test event, this dummy event in our calendar, get back to Public Connect and click on save and send test request. 
after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received some response. And we will when we will scroll to this response, we will see this is the response of the same event, the most recently added, the most latest event which we have created in our calendar, Google Calendar account is received. So we have the same name of the event, developers conference. We have the same description, same location, and also when we will scroll down, we have the same start date time and end date time of this event. So this means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected our Google Calendar account with Public Connect and received the details or the response of new event create which we are creating in Google Calendar in Public Connect. Now what we have to do, we have to basically send this same event details to our MetaMost channel as a post as well. But before that, we will notice that the start date time and end date time of this event is in a, a pretty complex format. So this is not a usual format in which we write date and times. So using a feature of Public Connect that is date time formatter, we are going to change the format of this date time, the start date time and end date time of this event. How we can do this? Let me show you. We will scroll down, come to our action window, and here we will search for date time formatter. Date time formatter by Pavli. Then after that, in action event from the drop down, we will select format date with time zone. Click on connect. And after that, the first thing it asks us is the date. So first we will change the format of this date, this date which we have received over here. So we will be just mapping the same date over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the responses of new event which we have received from Google Calendar can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of start date time and it is mapped over here. Then it is asking us from format that in which format this date and time is present right now. So in the drop down below, we can we have a list of all the different formats. So this is the format in which this date and time is present right now. Then after this, it is asking us to format that in which format we want this date and time to be changed. So I want that this date and time should be changed in this format of day, month, year, hours, minutes, seconds, and then EM and PM. So I will just select this format. Then it is asking us from time zone that in which time zone this date is present right now. So here in response, we can see that the time zone which in which this date is present right now is Asia Kolkata. So we will be selecting the same time zone over here. So from the drop down, select Asia Kolkata. And in two time zone, we also want the same date and time, same time zone. So we also want that the date and time of this date, this date should be this. And after selecting the time zone as well, just click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have this date and time of our meeting at a very readable format, which we usually use in our day to day life. 20th of September 2022, 4 p.m. So basically we have successfully converted the start date of the event. Now we have to follow the same process for end date as well. And to do this, we have to basically do the same steps once again. And to avoid this manual effort of doing it, we can basically clone this complete step of date time formatter, which we have added. So just click on this clone step button in front of it and click on clone now. And you will see that the whole step of date time formatter in which we have changed the start date and time is now cloned and a new step is added over here. Now what we have to do, we have to basically change the map date over here in this next step. So from the uh, Google Calendar events uh, responses, we have to just select the end date and time over here. And once again, click on save and send test request. And now we can see the end date and time of the event is also changed. So guys, basically we have successfully changed the format of end date and time and start date and time of the event as well. Now we want to share the event details on MetaPost. Now to do so, just click on this add action step button over here and here in choose app, search for MetaMost. MetaMost it is, just select it. And after that, in action event from the drop down, select create a post. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to basically connect our MetaMost account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, we require a token, an API token from our MetaMost account and also the URL of our MetaMost account. So here you must be thinking how we are going to get this API token and URL. Now getting the URL is very simple. 
just go to your metamost account and here in the url section just copy the url from https to dot com metamost dot com just copy this url go to pavli connect and paste it over here and just remove the slash from the last but to get the token of your metamost account what you have to do you have to basically go to your metamost account and on the left side you can see this grid option over here just click on it and from the drop down click on system console then you will reach to the system console page and here on the left side just scroll down and reach to this integration management just click here and here at last you can see a option named as personal access token enable personal access token so by default it is was selected as false but you have to select true in place of this and click on save so i have already activated my personal token that's why it is on true but by default when you will open your metamost account it will be on false just select true and save it after that just click on this back to main option and this time at this page on the right side we have profiles option just click here and click on profile then go to security and you will see this personal access token fee option over here just click on add it and then click on create token give this token a name for example pc public connect is the name i am giving and click on save just create and a new access token of a metamost account is created over here just copy this token from here go to public connect and paste it over here and then click on save and now we can see that our metamost account is now connected with public connect after making this connection the next thing it asks us is the team so here in the drop down below we can see a list of all the teams which we have created in metamost can be seen over here so right now in my metamost account i have created only one team named as papcon1 so that's why i will select this team the next thing it asks us is the channel so here in the drop down below we can see a list of all the channels which we have created in our metamost account can be seen over here so here you can see all of these channel let me save it yes i have copied the token so these are the list of channels and same channels we can see over here so out of all of this on which channel we want to share our google calendar event details we have to select that so upcoming event this is the channel on which i want to share the event details now after this guys the next thing is the message so what is the message which i want to share on my metamost channel so i want my message to be hello team we have a new event event name description start date and time and date and time and location okay so these are the details which i want to share on my metamost channel with my team members of the google calendar event so this is the kind of message which i want to create so basically if you want you can create some other message of your choice you are completely free to do this so here in this message in front of event name i want to mention or add the summary or the name of the event so we have received the name of the event over here from google calendar responses so we will be mapping this response of the summary description and all of these details one by one in these fields and guys as we saw the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the google calendar responses select, select the response or the tire for the name of the event and map it then in front of description from the drop down select and map the description now in front of start date time because we have changed the format of start date time and end date time so from the date time formatter responses we will select and map the start date time and here after that from this uh, end date format we will follow the same so the next second time when we have used date time formatter we have changed the format of our end date of the event just map it and then at last the location so we all also receive the response for location where it is this is the location just map it so this is the kind of message and details i want to share on my metamost channel for google calendar event now after this it is asking us root post id and file id so both of these fields are not mandatory and also i am not sharing any kind of file over here in with this message so we can basically ignore these fields for now and click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us 
This response shows that the message which we have created over here using the e event details of our Google Calendar event is now shared on our MetaMost channel automatically. So let's check. We'll go to MetaMost and yes guys, here we can see that we have the same event details. Same message which says, hello team, we have a new event, event name developers conference, description, we will be having all of our developers at this event, start date time, end date time and location. So in this way guys, basically we have created an automation using which whenever a new event will be created in our Google Calendar account, automatically the details of that event will be shared as a message on our Metamost channel with our team members. So after setting up this automation, let's get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we have selected Google Calendar as a trigger application and new event was our trigger event. Then we have connected our Google Calendar account with Pavli Connect so that the details of the new event which we are creating in Google Calendar can be captured in Pavli Connect. After that, the start date time and end date time of the event was in a complex format. They were not so readable. So using a feature of Pavli Connect that is date time formatter, we have changed the format of start date time and end date time. And at last, we have sent all of this data collectively to Metamost so that we can share a message, a channel message on Metamost every time a new event is created in Google Calendar using this automation automatically. So not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also, Pavli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks in your own Pavli Connect account every month. So if you want to try and test this automation workflow, you can do it for absolutely free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.